Tonight we'll conclude with the prelims here at 287 with three five-minute rounds and the lightweight division. Introducing the blue corner at 5'10", weighing in 154.8 pounds. His professional record, 11 wins, six losses, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland by way of Roma, Italia, Daniele Scott Scafizzi. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at 5'8", weighing in 155.8 pounds as a professional 21 wins, 7 defeats, 2 draws from Normandy, France, Davey Lenormand Gagnon! And the referee in charge, Jacob Montalvo. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight. This is the most efficient promotion in MMA, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Fast. We put on fights. No one's here for that fluff. Let's fight. I own 3 0 inside Bellator. He's won five straight. Now, oh, we we'll get a chance to get Scatizzi out. Very nice good. attack by Scatizzi. Trying to neutralize. Now, well, that's guy on here, his back, well, he's not going to work around his background, which is judo, because his back looks like it's about to be on the mat. There he goes. He's a high-level judo player. But you saw Scatizzi get those hands clasped around the hips. He had the ability to elevate Gaillon. Once you've got someone around the, the base of that you know, hip area, very difficult for them to stay on their feet. Scatizzi has the judo background, too, not at the same level. Now, but Scatizzi on the ground, he is very skilled. Stuck his arm on the wrong side. He's going to have to get his arm on the other side of David Gaillon. There he does. Nice job by David Gaillon. Himself back to his feet. Right back in on the hips. It's easy as a young fighter won that fight in Torino in 2016. And when he was in the cage, he had some issues with the translator when he was using a certain language to describe some of his attributes that she was apprehensive to translate. <laughs> well, as we say, lost in translation. That, that right there hurt. Win that scramble, yeah. Yeah, well, it was just slipped by Scatizzi. His foot slipped out on the canvas. That's what ended up putting him there. He's got to work his way back to his feet or try to get into a position for a submission here. He likes to stay on his back at times. This is not against David Gaillon. I'm going to get back up. I'm going to be the man on top. Come out strong. This would be the biggest win for Scatizzi in his career. No doubt about it. David Gaon has been on a roll. He has been just lighting people up. He's been winning in the stand-up, winning on the ground. He had that rolling thunder kick yeah. against Ross Pearson. Pearson. It was just unbelievable. You find younger fighters now who've come up in the YouTube age. Think more about that viral moment the same way kids now are all shooting three pointers, right? Yeah, you know, it really would if they are so much more apt to try the things that we would never try before. Yep. Two judokas walk into a phone booth. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, that was a that was a nice Uchimata attempt by David Gaion. He had that leg up high. Tell people what that is. And Uchimata, you, any, 
the easiest way for you to think about it when you're to remember it that leg comes up between your opponent's legs and that's why we go uchi because it's kind of you put it in a place where it doesn't feel too good that was probably not the explanation a lot of you probably were not that's why I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to do it right there he's looking for a haragosh And that, that's one thing when you're working against David Go, if you notice, look at all the foot attacks. A lot of foot sweeps, just little things to upset your balance all the time. They had they start to take an effect on you because you're not sure where the next attack is, where your bat your balance point should be. Started strong, finishes strong. The two magicians that know each other's tricks. That's round what we guys. saw in round one. Fight. Who took their judo into a great MMA career? Obviously, Ronda's the first one that comes to mind. It's also Toshi Ishii and Bellator. Give me some of the great judokas that made it work. Well, you know, the first guy ever that we saw was a guy named Christoph Leninger. And he came in and had good judo. Ben Spikers tried it, you know, when he fought Henzo Gracie. But if you're going to look at Yoshida in pride, really made a career with his judo, being an Olympic gold medalist. A couple of guys, Nagawa, he was an Olympic gold medalist. Wasn't as successful in the MMA realm. But if you're going to say who is the most successful judoka overall, it's got to be Ronda Rousey. We often didn't have much time to appreciate it in her fights. Well, now you take a look at the person who is doing it now. That's Kayla Harrison. Yeah. Still remains the area where the most things are happening that you don't necessarily appreciate is these little exchanges along the fence. I'll grab the cage. So much goes on in these clinch situations that you're seeing and that struggle for the underhooks that you're looking at right now. Skatizi looking to drop those leg, those arms down, change levels, get into that possible double leg. Everything is about leverage here. You dig that underhook, you keep it high, you push your opponents back towards the cage. Skatizi is also at SPG now. Yeah, he's become a See, much yeah, better fighter. A more professional, yes. polished fighter. Exactly. And that, that's really, it's not that he hasn't had some losses off of it, but he's a more complete. He was a straight grappler before. It was almost scary at times to watch him in the stand up with what he would throw and how he would throw it. Now, much more polished. Still, still, still has some attacks that you go, you're a little bit off balance there, a little bit out of position, but hey. He used to be way out. He was wild. Oh, yeah. And he, is, he has been, uh, you know, polished down. By SBG. See, it's right there. Crushed his space before throwing his hands. And that's just you know, part of learning the stand up game. Distance range will wow. get you where you want to be. Understanding when to throw, that timing, that all creates speed and accuracy. That was David Gagnon using what Skatizi was trying to do, That's using it against him. That's a judoka right there, yeah. using leverage yep. into the body lock. 
This is going to be a tough spot for Skatizi to get out of with just a little over a minute left in the round. Well, knowing that Skatizi is really good on the ground, he's going to have some good defense. If you're David Gagnon, you want to open up with shots now. Just start to try to do damage to him. Make him pay for the mistake he made in trying to take you down. He's already broken the body. Nice line. job. He goes that top position. We'll see what he does here. Full guard. That was not smart where he put himself. Yeah, he put his head in a dangerous spot. When you see him going over, that's telling you it was tight. He was having a problem with the pressure. There's no way Skatizi's doing this two years ago, three years ago. No. It's a different fighter right now. That was a situation in which Guyon could have frozen the round for the final two minutes instead. Now he's on the defensive. Yep. That's Skatizi, boy, he is finishing round strong. Good stuff. Oh, that was easy. Both guys going after it. Loving it. It's easy having fun out there. He, he has been from the time he walked through the through the curtain. All right, round three. Fight. He's been more willing to stand. It's almost as if where Guyon felt his advantage was going to be, he's been neutralized. able to upset that balance get that leg up high he gets himself back to the base he's doing a great job of lacing the one arm of David Guyon you see him with that body lock he's also holding on to the right arm keep that grip then Eddie keep that grip <laughs> Here is coach. Yep. Keep yeah, that grip. Be They're be right. Because Use the knee. You basically eliminated him to a one arm fighter right at knee. this point. You have the grip here. Shots with the left hand as well. If he can just keep that lace with his right arm. He can decide when to let go with his left <laughs> and land shots. <laughs> Five fight winning streak for Guyon. It's easy as you said, he has stayed busy. He has lost fights, but he's getting better and better and better. This is without question is the best performance you've seen. Absolutely the best performance I've ever seen. And again, Guyon almost being able to get him onto his back. Skatizi fighting his way out of it. <laughs> Still with the double unders. <laughs> and you look at this. When you're yes. with Skatizi's arms, you want those. Either drop them down towards that waistline or bring them up high and make those arms of Dave Guyon go up. That will help you with the takedown. Being in the middle of his back is the hardest place for you to have those double unders and be successful. Keep scoring, Daniel. Yes. Keep scoring. Good shot. Yes. Two minutes, Daniel. in a bad spot here because the takedown from Skatizi could basically end it. Knee the legs, foot stomp to score. Yeah. Yeah. Positive reinforcement. Yeah. But you got to look, and if you're Skatizi, 
that you need to do something with this because you're the guy with the advantage, and if you're not going to do something with that advantage, this is about fighting. It's not about running the clock. Right now, he's turned into more of, I'm going to run the clock. Now he's trying for the takedown. That's what you're looking for. said so much happens in this moment right here. In the fight that is up for grabs. As we hit the final countdown, who's going to get the final takedown? Again, look at that underhook. You see how he's driving up and turning that corner with that underhook. That's what puts David Gaillon's back to the cage. Just anticipated that's what was going to happen since Katizzi had tried multiple times and wasn't able to get there. Kayon, in my opinion, 30 seconds, you need to go. Don't just hold, go after him. Remember, Katizzi finished each of the first two rounds with a huge flurry. Seems content to run out the clock. And another finishing flurry. Good shots by Gaon now. Good stuff and a great performance from a young fighter, the likes of which we have not seen from him. We're asking all the questions. Michael C. Williams about to give us the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to your three judges, Doug Crosby, Michael Bell, Sal D'Amato, all have it the same, 29 to 28, for the winner by unanimous decision, Daniele Scott Scatizzi. A signature win for a young fighter, and he earned it against the veteran, Davey Gaillon.